I'm Tobias Achterberg. I'm Director of Research and Development at Grobe Optimization. So we at the Grobe R&D team, we are all scientists by heart. So the fact that our research can actually be used to get some algorithms that are useful for practical applications, that's a very fortunate coincidence for us. So we really love what we do. So working on algorithmic performance is just like sports. You want to be faster and faster. And then the good thing is you can actually measure your success. And if then after two weeks of development, you get like the next 2% performance improvement, that is something that the team is really enjoying if this happens. The R&D team has very close connections to academia and also to our users. So this inspires ideas for us to what to do next in the product, which features to develop and where we should put our focus on. So in order to put a new feature into the product, various things have to come together. So one thing is that the whole R&D team together decides that it's a useful feature that would be useful for our users. The marketing and sales have acknowledged that this is, has some business value. And most importantly, I would say, there must be at least one person who is really passionate about this idea and takes ownership. Customer input for us is really fundamental in terms of the development of the solver. In the solver development, there are so many different corner cases that you have to deal with that without a large real-world model database, you would just not be able to develop a solver that is useful for practical applications. Customer models help us to find bugs in the code. Um, they are really essential to improve performance of our algorithms. And by looking at the customer models in detail, we often find new tricks in our code to help improve performance for this particular class of models. And then it regularly happens that this also applies for other applications where you wouldn't even have thought this would apply. And finally, the customer input that we get, so like for feature requests, this also often enables us to get a broader sense of what our users want to have and then to develop the product. You need to understand the math and scientific papers in our field and you need to be connected to academia and stay connected to academia in order to keep up with the academic progress. Moreover, you have to have lots of experience with algorithm development and you need to think constantly about corner cases when you develop those algorithms. You just can't write down a simple algorithm and, and think you're done. You always have to think about what happens if the next model has 10 million variables and you get into this algorithm in this corner case, so will it take way too long? What should you do about it? Another very important aspect of our work is that you need to understand statistics. You have to do benchmarking all the time. You have to be able to read and interpret tables of numbers and you have to look into individual problems and models and identify patterns in the results so you can investigate what's going on in detail. So and finally you need to be a good software developer in order to get maintainable code that others can read and understand. And last but not least, you really need to be good in, in teamwork in a scientific uh, world be able to communicate with your colleagues and explain what you are doing, put ideas on the table, discuss and have fun with the code.